Welcome back to another Plasticon customization thing, guys. I am here to talk to you guys about some G2 sticker sheets that I have created for good old Defensor. I will get around and do the one from Venusaur soon, so don't chomp at the bit here and be like, oh my goodness, where's that one at? This is kind of a uh, overview of some of the process that I've done to kind of get you guys going on trying to create your own version of these guys. Now, my suggestion to you guys out there first off when it comes to this type of thing is first, if you're good with painting, then paint. If not, find someone else to do it. That's all I have to say. Because when it comes to trying to create these guys, it's not something that you're going to be able to do overnight. This is a patience thing, just to let you know. So I'm going to look at Groove here, because Groove, so yeah, this guy was, by the way, this was all spray paint. This wasn't brush paint or anything. So yeah, you might see a little bit of chipping, but guess what? Chipping is going to happen no matter what you do. It doesn't matter how much clear coat you put on things, it's going to happen over time. I've had this set in my possession for, I'd say about eight, seven or eight years, this set. Now the stickers just recently I've done, but before that, yeah, the, these things have been transformed into Defensor many, many times. As you guys can see, I've got all the Defensor parts kind of just chilling back here. The only real paint chip as I get off of these is from the, um, putting the peg on and off, but to be honest, no one cares about that because it, it's in robot mode and you won't ever see that. So that's like the biggest thing when it comes to the bits and pieces. Um, I did happen to have a rep label set, so I did put the proper stickers on the chest piece and on the crotch piece. Sorry if I'm going to reach off screen here a little bit, but there you go. Very shiny, very cool. I do love it a lot. But I want to get into how I did the sticker development for these. Um, first off, when I started creating these stickers, it was not something that I did overnight. It's something that took several trial and errors and a little bit of time to do. Sorry, my throat's all dry. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Anyway, let's go into looking at the actual stickers that are already applied. And then I'll show you the sticker sheet and what I did myself. Now, these sticker sheets are going to be available on my Generation 2 customization page. I've also put them on my G2 group page that I have on um, Facebook. So you'll be able to look both of these up. I'll put both links down below so you guys can check it out. Because I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my goodness, there's actual stickers for Hotspot. Yes, I created stickers for Hotspot as well because Hotspot needed them. And there were no really good images of it. And I kind of had to make these up a little bit. But to be honest, when I looked at these and looked at what was on Hotspot, this is pretty close to what they probably are. I don't actually have a definitive photo of it. I have never seen a definitive photo. I've even contacted people through um, different channels trying to find them. It's not an easy thing to find. But if any of you guys out there actually have a little more information, please shoot it my way because you know what? I will immediately correct it and make it amazing because you know it's just that's just part of it. First off, we got our own neon going on here. But anyway, let's look at the most neon of them all, good old Groove. And if you notice, I actually have the stickers here put on his fuel tank. It says Groove. And he does have the star with the Autobot emblem right there in the center. These are extremely tiny. Not to mention he's got his 95-3 because he's supposed to be the third one of the group. I know mine's on there a little crooked. I don't even know how that happened. Probably because I was... Oh, well, there we go. Popped off on me. That's okay. We're going to do some live fixing here then. Um, it's probably because dry climate and such. I did not put these on sticky back paper for myself because these technically are a prototype version. You guys out there can use sticky back paper, but, you know, this is how I do it. I 
used um, some Elmer's glue all which th by the way this stuff works wonders when it comes to reapplying stickers on anything I'm talking any type of toy because I put these on there I actually put these on the Minasaur and I had to go through and correct a uh, mess up on one of my Minasaur things I actually did the same with blades here I actually had to fix a sticker on him and guess what they didn't want to come off very well I don't understand why this in here probably did what it did probably because it's on a curve but then again it's been kind of dry around here lately and I don't think you know the the climate really helps much with this kind of thing but you know here I am trying to fix this yes I know you see the purple well guess what this purple dries clear so you won't even see it when it dries um great thing is is hey really fixable and the cool thing is is if you print these off you can print off several sheets of it so if anything ever happens to them you'll be able to easily fix that problem and guess what look now it's straight I fixed it looks pretty sharp on him by the way yes I know some of you guys are out there eating a lie like he's a little more orange than when he should be yes I know um, back when I actually started doing these I had the orange hue a little too bright but to be honest I like it I really like it so I just stuck with it um a little squeaky there but you guys can find really good high quality KOs of these guys out there and you can also find um just old rough ones ones that need to love ones that say well groove is yellowed like beyond yellow because he's you know supposed to be screaming white and say the chrome is all going away I and mean, the chest piece itself is like messed up or whatever by the way these are repro labels that are on his chest I did not do the robot modes I only did the vehicle mode stickers because that's what is missing the most on any of these things out there so I wanted to create those and make sure they looked awesome and like I said when it comes to purchasing a set to customize find a high quality one because that's the best way to go if you guys decide you're like well I'm just gonna dabble with this and see if it works out you can find some low quality ones out there but there are some that are undersized so if they are undersized the sticker sheet I've created will not fit them correctly just letting you know that now looking at first aid here tiny Autobot it says first aid right there on the sticker and it's got this nice little um, kind of a the rescue cross type going on it says first aid and it's got his good old 95-2 right there across the top and same thing on the side and this is one solid sticker that goes all the way around just wraps around and that is literally it that is the only sticker that he's supposed to have is that that's it it's simple it's a very very simple one by the way if you repaint it's real simple blue chest gold bits and guess what? This is GPS. It doesn't happen. That's what's great about it. It would have been a nightmare back in the day if you had him. But anyway, we're going to move on here to Streetwise. Now, Streetwise here, there's one sticker on here I will show you on the sheet that I did not swap out. Because personally, I think this doesn't look bad on mine. This is 95 4. The one that I have that's on the sticker sheet itself is actually bold. It's not an outline text, so it, it does look a little different. Um, by the way, I fully dis do disassemble any of these. These are not ones that I just find and just rattle can it the way it is. No, I fully disassemble these. Then paint them, then put them back together. By the way, the light bars, I the, these right here, I did have to kind of, you have to hand paint those. And the same thing with the windshields, um, especially on him, because he's supposed to be black. And the original G2 are blue, so you do have to change the color of the windows. And a little bit of the, uh, the striping and such, you know, that's kind of a thing. But it's kind of hard to see it, but there is a 911 right there on his um, door. Not to mention, he's got his nice badge with the Autobot logo right there in G2. And it just, this this makes him look so sharp compared to what I had before. Before, I had I actually had just like the normal 
the fence were stickers and then I put G2 emblems over them and they looked okay but I was like this just doesn't fit what I'm trying to create. I want these things to be as true as possible to the originals and that's what I have done here. I know you guys are out there like, oh, this is going to cause the value of the originals to drop. That is negative. It will not cause that to happen, guys. It just won't. Because the originals are the originals. Blades here, same thing. You know, I had to paint him blue and then paint his windows white. And then gave him this uh, nice yellow blades and, you know, wheels which are kind of a yellowish orange um, which is cool I do like that um, I did add the nice big SWAT sticker there on his back because you know that's what he's supposed to have right there it says SWAT and that whole kind of military font and he has another one here on the other side which is kind of cool and then he has the good old um, sticker here on the top which this is the one I had to replace because the other one was an outline it was very 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 light to see but yeah there we go now oh, I got the lighting really good on there so you can see it this is 95.5 with the SWAT right underneath because he is he's a SWAT helicopter that's what he is and he's really really neat I do like how he turned out especially with the sticker sheets the sticker sheet really 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 made this thing so much better and that's one thing I do absolutely love about him is the fact that the stickers just really kind of push this the direction that I would rather it go. Now, like I said, when it comes to applying the stickers, I actually just printed mine on normal paper. You guys can use sticky back gloss paper. You guys can use sticky back matte finish paper, which to be honest, I would go with a matte finish over a, a gloss because if you look at the way stickers are on most transformers they're not a high gloss normally they're a kind of a matty type of finish especially when it came to G2 they weren't not a lot of them were completely like high gloss but let's check out good old hotspot hotspot only required three new stickers and you can obviously tell he is a big red fire engine did have to hand paint the windows and the rims here, I actually had to hand paint the rims too because they were obviously, um, <coughs> pardon me, in a, um, you know, they're pinned in. And I don't like pulling pins if I don't have to, especially when it comes to some of the stuff. You know, the screaming orange, I love this orange. And he just looks really sharp. But the great thing is, is literally says hot spot right there on a red sticker along with um, kind of almost like a targety type of thing here going on with the Autobot emblem which has a little bit of the like wings like the guardian wings that they normally have on the Autobot emblems and I really think it looks really good and the other thing I did was I created the sticker that goes on top and well, this in here is also different on the sticker sheet I finally completed but it says 95-1 and by the way, the cutting on this, my fiance, not fiance, but wife now, kissing me and her. <sighs> long story, her and I have like, been together for a very, very long time. But she cut them out for me because she is amazing at cutting things out with scissors. I, that is something I am not good at. I, I admit that. That is something I am horrible at. But I can paint like none other. But anyway, there is the defense or protectobots all stickered up for generation two. And these things just look amazing now. I just I can't get over this because this makes me feel like I am finally able to complete grails that I wouldn't ever be able to afford. Because a lot of guys are out there like, why don't you buy the originals? You guys out there tell me who has got thirteen thousand dollars just sitting in their bank account that just toss toward this kind of thing. Some of these things are going for $25,000. It's insane the amount of money these things go for, but to be honest, I understand why, because they're extremely rare. But, what I did is I print them off, and yeah, you guys can obviously tell I've cut out, this is the, this right here would be with the sticker is for blades from the very top. But, obviously you can see 
We got the uh, sticker sheets there. And that right there is for Groove. And then you got first aids. And then hot spot is these right here, these two top ones, and then these right here go on the top. Obviously it's cut in half, so that way you put one put them on there even, and then you've got um street wises, which is nice. And, and they're all on one sheet. Whenever you guys do ask on the website itself, you can if you want to just right click and save the image and then you can print it directly from there or I can also send you the image file I have at, on my you know at home that I can actually send directly to you um, through an email um, if you guys are wanting this you guys can just email me plasticon1978 at gmail.com that's where you guys can email me and say, hey, I would like to have a copy of those files so that way I can create my own defense or, or menace or I'll send you both files. This stuff's free of charge. I'm not charging anybody any of this because let me get into that. I originally was going to try to go through and get these things actually made from a really, really, really good quality maker. Um, at the time I was looking and they were going to be possibly kind of like a vinyl sticker which I actually have used vinyl stickers before and they work phenomenal for plastic toys if you know how to apply them correctly and I was going to do it that way but the problem was they weren't sure if the because of how tiny some of the stuff is because I mean the 911 on this guy like seriously like look how small this is like, I was thinking get some lighting here to work with me today, and it's not one and two. Anyway, um, when you guys actually download these, you'll see how small this really is. Um, I know it's not picking up very well on camera, which is kind of upsetting. I don't know why it's not doing that. I don't know. Let me see if I can add a little more light here, because you know, Mr. Mr. Filmmaker here should know what he's doing. But you know, I think you guys can see the 911 a little better now. But you know, that's just kind of how it is. It's one of those things that. Anyway, super tiny. Very, very hard to see. Weren't really sure if they were going to turn out very well on vinyl. Plus, it was going to cost me a lot of money just to do a test print. I don't have that kind of cash. So I was like, you know what? I'd rather create these, put these out there for people to use, and at least get the ball started that direction yes I did try to contact toy hacks but to be honest I don't even know if they would even be interested in these because it's such a niche thing this is a customization piece this is a piece that not everybody's going to have out there so I figure I would like to let you guys know what I've got out here and how I am creating it and this is just for the defense or I will be doing another one later on dealing with um, Menace or because, you know, everybody loves their Stenticons just as much as they love their Protectabots. So, anyhow, this has been Plasticon. This has been yet another little video just to let you guys know of how I'm doing customizations and how this works. And I will get around to actually doing some real customs because I'm trying to um, figure out which one I want to start out with. Anyhow, this has been Plasticon. This is me signing off. Peace out to y'all. Bye.